So, Bars, I, I have to bring it up. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, you know, I have social media like everybody else. I have access to YouTube. And, um, uh, you know, there was a diss record that you put out. Uh, the, the diss record is called Goof. Oh, and man. it was uh, in response to another record. Yeah. Right. And um, just before you before you even I know you don't really want to talk about that. And I'm going to respect that. But um, I heard both songs. I thought both songs were incredible. Um, uh, I'll definitely edge it to you, though, because I thought the beat was disgusting. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, fuck that. Dude, yeah, yeah. Hey, that that joint he put out that was yeah. called Suck Your Mom. Yeah. That shit was it was hard. My my own nigga even made the beat. Right, so niggas was asking yo, how did your homie make the beat for this? I'm like, yo, we were all homies, and like, yeah, like stop this, like it's, it's nothing. And it's just music, you know, rocket science. If it's just music, it with, just with, music. Me, with me and Pax, with you and the guy, yeah. Eh, eh. Okay, but what I'm saying eh. to you though, honestly, because I never I've really known Pax for years. You yeah, know? Pax is from my circle. You know, at the end of the day. I don't want to do nothing to Pax. I'm of course, not going to sit course. here and act like I want to lit down Pax. Of like, course. Nah, it's not even like that. So whatever, yeah. whatever happens, happens. So, all know. right. Well, all I'm saying is, you know, if we just keep it on wax, both of you guys keep it on wax. And, you know, what's ill about it is like literally when those songs came out, fire, fire, fire. That's all I seen on my timeline. No Which, disrespect to Brizzle, bro, but honestly, when Pax dropped his diss record and I dropped mine back for him, I never heard about Brizzle's This Is No More. I knew that there that he had one out, but again, and no disrespect to him either, but I was like, whoa. And especially how fast you responded, which I want to talk about that because I seen on some of your other interviews, like I know you record yourself all the time and you'll yeah. be writing your bars or whatever like that. You'll go and then you'll just go and freestyle the rest of it. Yeah. So that response that you did, was that a freestyle or did you write that? Which one? Goof. For Brizzle or Goof. for Pax? Yeah. Um, um, I wrote the shit out of that. The yeah. fuck? <laughs> I'm not going to front. Like I wish I could have freestyled that yeah, shit. Yeah. I never had no time to even... Like, even process no freestyles yeah. at the time. Like, I heard that track. I'm like, all right, let me find a beat and start writing. Around. You couldn't freestyle or the response to that. You had to I could have. I yeah. could have, but it wouldn't have been good as the written. What it is. You know? So. so how long did it actually... Okay, so when did you hear the the record itself, the disc record, and then from that time stamp to you writing it, recording it, releasing it? What was the the, the, the uh I the heard difference? his record right when it dropped. It was like, I don't know, I think 11 or midnight or some shit. It was late in the night. Yeah. I heard it right when it dropped because the nigga tagged me. Okay. So I heard yeah, yeah, it right yeah. away, you know? <laughs> like, so, I gotta see this shit. Uh, I put it on. First, I seen the IG post. I listened to that. And I'm like, holy shit, this nigga's going the fuck in. Yeah. So I put it on the YouTube Heard the whole four fucking minutes of it, and I was just like, "Fuck, this nigga's going in." Like a lot of the bull, it's a lot of bullshit in this in the song. But, but if you know, you're that's but, how this track, started, yeah. And you know? if you're like me and you're just a listener, you don't know what's real from what's, what's not. From you just know not, it's yeah. bars and it's. I mean, yeah. I mean, not not to you know, no pun intended. You just know it's punchlines. Yeah. And it. the track was so long that I can't really sit here and go back and forth about and which ones were real and which ones were you know. Yeah. Overall, it was a fire track. It was, was hard. The flows were hard. It was sick. Lyrics honestly, were hard. I was in. like, it oh was hard, shit. Bro. Honestly, and then so I started writing, and halfway through my joint writing, I was like, man, honestly, I don't even want to do this shit right now because I'm tired. <laughs> I wasn't feeling good. My stomach was fucked. I wasn't eating properly oh, okay, and shit because okay. yeah. I was just so into this drama shit yeah. going on and shit. So I wasn't even. Your I mind was just wasn't drinking and space. smoking, drinking and smoking. Yeah. So about at three, four in the morning, it kind of caught up with me. Okay, you know, but I had to fight through that shit. I'm like, nah, I gotta <laughs> drop something for when gotta people respond. wake up. When yeah. people wake up, they gotta wake up to this <laughs> this J Bar shit. Yeah. So okay, you heard the record. Eleven o'clock. You started getting into it. Wasn't feeling too good. Three o'clock. So when did you? Bro, I dropped mine like seven a.m. And then I saying. just went to sleep. I just let it out. Usually, when I drop something, yeah. I'll like share it around and send it to a couple people that I know will share it around. And, yeah. You know, I try to do a little bit of promo, little promo. and shit. You know, stories and shit. Yeah. When I drop that, I just straight drop that shit and went to sleep, bro. Straight and then up. you woke up to the madness. Yeah, I woke up to like <laughs> hundreds of notica- notifications. Man. Yo, all I'm saying is, the city needed that. 
And what was dope too is how quickly you responded. Like I don't want to talk about like the Tory Lanes. That's and, the and, time it is. No, yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I, I was about to say you don't want to yeah. talk about the Tory shit, but that's the times we're in, bro. Men's you see what just, happened when Drake dissed Meek yeah. with the charged up. That killed him. And Meek was laughing like, bro, you should have just killed him right away. You know, because the charged up wasn't. It was a good song, yeah. but Meek got some fire. So we know that Meek would have killed that song. If he would have. Right away. Mm. But he did it, and then Jake dropped back to back, and, and then it, was it was over. over. It was the Blue Jays versus Philadelphia and World and, and, Series. But, but, and, but the, the, and the thing is, is like, and not to dwell too much on that, because that's way back, but it is important for you other rappers out there listening. Um, you got to respond immediately because the longer you take to respond, it builds up the anticipation and it builds up the expectation. Yep. So if, if you wait, yep. even if you drop something that you think is amazing, mans are just like, yeah, it wasn't what we thought it was. Yeah. And then by the time Meek did drop, yeah. we wanted to hear it. Exactly. And then there was like, it was like, uh. Like exactly. Meek, we know you're sicker than this. What yeah. are you doing right now? It was you know? a letdown. So do you think that, like, as far as the track for track with that artist, um, do you is there anything left? Or are we just we just done with that? We're moving on. And just in terms of like music. With packs? Yeah, just in terms of music. Eh, I think it's over with the it's music with. thing, you know, because he dropped first, I dropped second. And, and then, that's really kind of all you could do. Mm-hmm. And like I said, we're from the same circle. So, you know, when we dropped our songs, we started getting calls from the penitentiary and shit. People were probably like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, what the fuck's wrong yeah. with you guys? Like, A lot of people are mad at us about it. The whole well, fucking Toronto loves it, but anyone well, that, who knows well, us personally is kind of upset. Well, about I it. mean, I even told you before we got the cameras on, like, mm-hmm. yo, Queen Victoria is my shit. Yeah, and, that, was um, a, that was one of my fucking... I won't say one of my best tapes. It was a damn good tape. I like that tape. Double disc, fucking 30 tracks. You got Queen Street side, Victoria Park side. If you haven't heard it, go check that shit out. Yeah, man. The link will be in uh, the description. Straight but um, uh, I like that shit. So, like, before, like I said, before we even got the cameras on, like, it was just saddened to hear that. You know what I mean? Yeah, shit happens, you know? Yeah. So, I'll go sometime. 